If you'd like to see some holiday side dishes that I lightened up for Weight Watchers, be sure to watch this video. Hi, this is Patty. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Winning at Weight Loss. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. This video, I'm going to make some holiday side dishes that you may want to use at your holiday dinner. I made some green bean casserole, a sweet potato casserole, a traditional dressing or stuffing. I made a, a crustless pumpkin pie, and I made some cranberry sauce that is made with pears and it actually is one of the best cranberry sauce I ever had. And it's all lightened up and within your points that you can have for your holiday meal. Here's a recipe for holiday stuffing or dressing depending on what you call it. You're going to take a frying pan and add one tablespoon of light butter. You're going to let it melt. Then you're going to add a cup of chopped onion. Stir it around in the butter. And then you're going to add a cup of chopped celery. And what you're going to do is mix it together and saute it. And then you're going to add some pepper and salt. And then the spices I add is a tablespoon of sage and a half a teaspoon of thyme and a half a teaspoon of rosemary. Then I'm going to add some chicken broth about a half a cup or so until it's light uh, covers the celery and onion. Just going to mix that up and bring it to a boil for about 10 minutes or so. Then I have eight pieces of nature's own butter bread that I chopped into cubes and dried out and placed them in a bowl. Then I'm going to add the sauteed onions and celery to the bread cubes and I will mix that up incorporating all the celery and onions into the bread and I'm going to add one egg and also mix that again Then I'm going to add just a little bit of chicken broth to make it a little softer. I mean, you, it's, you can add really whatever you want on the, depending on your degree of. Then I'm going to spray a baking casserole dish, and I'm going to add the stuffing mixture to the baking dish. And then I'm going to press it down a little bit. Once that's pushed down, I'm going to cover it with foil and bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. And then I will take the aluminum foil off and crisp it up for about 10 minutes more. And there you have a serving of holiday stuffing. Hope you enjoy. This recipe is for sweet potato casserole. First I will take two large potatoes and parboil them and peel them. Then I place them in a bowl and I'm going to add two tablespoons of light butter to the sweet potatoes and I will also add one egg and 
Now I will mix together the potato and the butter and the egg, mashing it up so it's all combined and pretty smooth. And then I'm going to add a dash of salt and some Swerve brown sugar replacement. And that's going to be two tablespoons. You can really use any brown sugar substitute you want. I'm going to mash all the ingredients together until they're well combined. Get all the lumps out if there's any. I probably should have used a bigger masher for the sweet potatoes, but this will have to do. Then when you're done, you place them in an 8x8 greased casserole dish. I'm going to make the topping mix. I'm going to put two tablespoons of the light butter in a bowl. And then got to get every last drop. And then I'll add two more tablespoons of the brown sugar substitute. Now we're going to add some Quaker oats and I'm going to put in one third a cup of the Quaker oats. You can use either either one, the instant or the regular. And I'm going to mix all these ingredients together so they are kind of crumbly. Just want to combine the butter, the oatmeal, and the brown sugar. Next, we're going to add some chopped pecans to the topping mix, and that'll be two tablespoons. Gives it a nice, crunchy, nutty taste. And you're going to combine all the ingredients once again. And then you will sprinkle it on top of the sweet potatoes that you put in the casserole dish. And you try to get it all over the edges. And then it will go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. I cut the casserole up into nine pieces. And as you can see, the points on are on the screen, and each piece is, looks like that. Very good, very tasty sub holiday side. Now we're going to make a recipe for green bean casserole, which is a holiday favorite. You're going to need two cans of cut green beans, one can of 98% fat-free cream of mushroom soup, a can of fried onion pieces, some light soy sauce, some almond milk, that would be unsweetened vanilla, and some black pepper. We're going to take the beans that are drained and add them to a greased casserole dish. I'm just using a pie pan. Then 
then you're going to add the entire can of cream of mushroom soup. Then the soy sauce, you add one teaspoon. And some pepper, probably about a quarter teaspoon. And the fried onion pieces, you're going to put a quarter cup inside the casserole and mix until everything's combined. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of the almond milk. After I finished mixing this up, I baked it in the oven at 375 for about 35 minutes. And for the last five minutes, I took it out, put on the remaining quarter cup of the French fried onion uh, crisps, and then baked it again and served it into four servings. And I lost the video for this part, so hope you enjoy this good green bean casserole. This recipe is for some really tasty cranberry sauce. You're going to need a 12 ounce bag of whole cranberries, two ripe pears, a cup of water, and some honey. What you're going to do first is chop up the pears into small bite-sized cubes. Once the chopping's all done, you're gonna put have it in a pan, then you're going to pour the cup of water and then you will add the cranberries. And that's the entire bag and they're cleaned and washed. Then you're gonna add the honey. That'll be a half a cup. You wanna get all, the, every drop of that honey. Now you're going to mix all the ingredients and heat until it starts to boil. See, the heat is starting to get hot. Steam is coming. You'll hear the cranberries start to pop as the skin split. You're gonna keep heating it until it boils. And then once it starts to boil, you'll simmer it for, turn it down and simmer it for about 15 minutes until it gets thick and the cranberries are all popped and then you're gonna let it cool and this is what it looks like it is so good it's my favorite cranberry sauce I've ever had This recipe is for crustless pumpkin pie. You're going to need an entire can of pure pumpkin, some ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla extract, two eggs,
a brown sugar substitute. I use Swerve. And some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Now I'm going to mix all the ingredients in a bowl. I'm going to take the entire can of pumpkin and you want to make sure that's 100% pure pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie mix. Then once that's done, I will add two eggs to the mixture and then the brown sugar substitute and that will be one third of a cup. Now I'm going to add some cinnamon. That will be one teaspoon. And I am using a half a teaspoon measuring spoon. Next item is nutmeg. And I add a half a teaspoon of that. And now vanilla. And a half a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. Pumpkin pie spice is one teaspoon and the last item I'll add is the almond breeze milk the almond milk and that will be a half a cup Now you're going to mix all the ingredients together, combining the eggs and the spices and making sure that everything is intermingled. Then you're going to pour that mixture into a greased pie pan. Now you're going to place it in the oven which is set for 375 degrees and bake it for about 40 minutes make, making sure that if you put a knife in it that none of the pumpkin will stick to the knife. And there you have a nice holiday dessert. Add a dollop of whipped cream of your choice. Yummy! If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and comment on what your favorite holiday side dish is below. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see maybe if we can lighten it up in another video. This is Patty and I'm winning at weight loss. Remember, we're here to eat healthy, get fit and be well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.